Hi, it's Dr. Hutter. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you today about is a type of adjusting that sets our office apart from many of the other offices that you might have investigated when you were thinking about chiropractic care. Uh, here at my office, uh, we have some of the only equipment in the area that's designed to adjust your spine in a way that's different from other offices, uh, in so much that the conventional adjustment involves a lot of rotational type of work, uh, moving the spine in, in what's classically uh, referred to as that the pretzel move. Uh, a lot of folks don't like that, a lot of folks are, are uncomfortable with uh, that type of contact or that maneuver, but uh, Dr. DeVoe and I use what's often referred to as flexion distraction therapy. Uh, flexion distraction has been, has been researched for numerous decades, probably going back 40 years now, and it's in a lot of the mainstream literature when it comes to medical care. Uh, if you look up flexion distraction or if you look up Cox technique, uh, you'll, you'll be able to see more about it. We have brochures in the office about that procedure. In fact, I'm one of the only practitioners in the area that's certified in closed disc reduction uh, for the treatment of herniated discs uh, without the use of drugs or surgery. Uh, we have a number of tools that, that we use that we can help you with, not just with disc injuries, but spinal stenosis, spinal arthritis, people have osteoporosis, curvature of the spine, like scoliosis or kyphoses. Flexion distraction is used for a number of conditions and it's quite effective. It's almost pain-free. Most people say, oh my god, that's exactly what I need. I just need it to be stretched or just gently pulled apart. Let me demonstrate for you, using the instrument, exactly what flexion distraction is. Uh, there's two different variety. We have what we refer to as long axis or long Y axis distraction. That's where we elongate the body using a, a gentle pull, much like the conventional traction that you, you might be familiar with. But then we also use what's referred to as uh, Z, X and Z axis traction as well, where we flex the body. And I'll, I'll show you that in just a moment. So let's go to the instrument and uh, uh, demonstrate how some of this works. Okay, so I've set the table up with an anatomic model. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate for you uh, how the flexion distraction works. You can see we're using the Cox decompression table. Uh, this is the table uh, from which the literature was uh, was written on spinal decompression. All right, uh, let's see, let me elevate this just a bit. Good. All right. So ordinarily our uh, subject is going to have legs and a head, but uh, you'll get the idea uh, by looking at this torso of what we're trying to do here. What we generally do is we start by testing the patient, making sure that they can tolerate by gently pulling on the legs. We determine whether or not the, the symptoms are going to be made worse by the long y-axis traction. Assuming that the patient can tolerate it, we can fasten their ankles to the cuffs down here at the bottom of the table. It's a nice gentle way of securing the lower extremities to the table and then it acts as our, our contact point to, uh, to elongate the body. Now once we've taken the slack out, we pull the slack out of the table uh, and secure it, we can get the table moving in a number of different angles. Uh, we have what's called flexion distraction. In flexion distraction, the table is unlocked in the center, and as we lower the table, you can see that as the table drops down, um, I hold the area above the, injure, uh, above the injury, and the weight of the legs along with the, uh, uh, the straps pulls the lower back, and it stretches that lower back gently. Uh, we don't want to go too far, we just want to go to the point of tissue tension and uh, create a, a gentle pull on that region. Uh, if the patient can tolerate it, we might go to what's called long y-axis traction. Uh, very comfortable, people love long y-axis traction, whether they have a curvature or they've got arthritis, they've got a disc injury, the long y-axis traction tends to be a, a local favorite. So. Let's see, let's turn this on. And in this 
type of, a, of a adjustment, the table is rhythmically moving back and forth. Uh, you're seeing that it's extending and retracting, extending and retracting. I have this set right now to move only in a, a one inch. We can go between a half inch and two and a half inches of stretch. Again, assuming it doesn't make the leg pain worse, we will generally contact above the area of injury and elongate the table um, in a defined number of cycles. Uh, we can work on the mid-back, we can work on the low-back. People tend to really enjoy this. Uh, the uniqueness about this table, aside from this long y-axis traction, in addition to the uh, z-axis and the lateral motion, uh, the x, y, z axes can all be done here. The Cox table also affords us what we call cervical distraction. Using the headpiece, this has a ability to glide in the long y as well. So by contacting the cervical region, we can get rhythmic stretching of the, the cervical region where there's again injury we can decompress the region taking the pressure off the nerves reducing any symptoms of uh, arm uh, shoulder pain the table also has the capability of laterally flexing so again that in addition to rotation we can rotate we can stretch we can flex we can get motion into those arthritic joints uh, so we can get all the X, the Y, and the Z axes of motion reestablished uh, comfortably and smoothly. Alright, so there's a couple of things that we can do that other offices can't. So if you or a loved one has an injury that you think might benefit from the uh, long y-axis traction, the uh, decompression, uh, give us a call. We can do things here in the office that other offices can't because we have the equipment, we have the experience, we have the, uh, the, the know-how to get the job done. Uh, what I like to say is we can help you get well where others have failed. All right. Well, here's Dr. Hutter with a couple of ideas for you in regard to chiropractic care and how we do it here at the office of Dr. Hutter and Dr. DeVoe.